Unlocking the power of deterrence in English. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a word that's packed with force and strategy, deterrence. You may have heard it in news about national security or in discussions about preventing problems. But what does it really mean, and how can you use it correctly in English? Stay tuned to unlock the full potential of this compelling concept. Deterrence is all about preventing an action, especially by making someone feel afraid or anxious about the consequences. It's a word that carries a lot of weight because it's not just about stopping something. It's about stopping it through the power of fear. For example, when countries have nuclear weapons, they may never use them but possess them as a form of deterrence against attacks. This is because the threat of massive retaliation deters or discourages aggressive actions. Let's see how deterrence works in different sentences to get a clearer picture. The strict penalties for drunk driving serve as a deterrence for many people. After installing security cameras, the shop experienced a deterrence in theft. The principal hoped the new rules would act as a deterrence to bad behavior in school. In these sentences, deterrence is connected with preventing undesirable actions by introducing measures that evoke fear of consequences. While deterrence is often used in military and political contexts, it's not limited to them. It can also be found in everyday situations like law enforcement, environmental policies, and even personal relationships. Understanding the context is crucial to using the term effectively. A parent might use deterrence by taking away a child's video game time if they don't do their homework. When learning about deterrence, be sure to avoid some common mistakes. Don't confuse deterrence with detention, which means holding someone in custody. Also, deterrence is often mistakenly used in a passive sense. Remember, it's an active strategy of imposing fear to stop an action before it starts. And that wraps up our discussion on deterrence. We hope you now have a better understanding of this powerful term and can use it confidently in your own conversations and writing. Remember, learning English is about adding layers to your vocabulary, and deterrence is one such layer that can add depth and precision to your speech. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.